you click this video you click this video because you're like me and you're nosy and you love a good haul you love a sephora haul you love a clothing haul you love an amazon haul like all them hauls i love them hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome my name is just shady and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys everything that i got from the sephora vib sale and i'm very excited because i officially have crossed over and i'm officially rouge but i'm rouge after this purchase so there are three different tiers that you can do when you're shopping the sephora vib sale there's the 10 percent off when you're just like a regular member you haven't like spent a certain amount at sephora then they also have the vib where you get 15 percent off and that's what i got with this purchase and then what you have after vib is vib rouge and that is when you get 20 percent off during these sales my order date says november 8th but i remember that i ordered everything literally like at, at night time so it processed the next day so my two-day expedited shipping actually did come expedited and like I said like their shipping is great like when you do expedited I've had my stuff for a couple of days because I got my stuff on the 11th so that was a couple days ago that's probably like Wednesday or Thursday of last week but I wanted to you know hold off and open everything in front of you guys while I was obviously doing my video I'm show you guys what I got I'm not gonna do it in any specific order or anything like that just know that i am just now realizing i bought three different bronzers so if you think you have a problem i feel you baby girl i feel you so the first thing i wanted to show you guys is this ola henriksen this is the glow 2 oh dark spot toner so for me i still get a breakout every now and then when i get my period for whatever reason the thing that likes to linger around the most are the dark marks and like the acne scarring so i got this because i seen marie j use this and she had mentioned this and the actual last vib sale that i didn't um pick this up and she had mentioned this and the big one was on sale for literally like ten dollars more than um the original big one so this is like a deluxe size i think it is this is a jumbo so I got this one and I just wanted to try this because it says it targets dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, skin texture with high potency HH AHAs. Oh my goodness, tongue twister. I feel like texture is a big thing for me. Like I don't know if you can see, but my forehead has some texture on it. And I just wanted to try this and see because I hear so much good stuff about the vitamin C like under eye cream and all that jazzy stuff. So I got three different bronzers. Like who is she? what do you need this many bronzers for please someone explain why do i have this many bronzers now this sephora bronzer this is literally just a sephora brand bronzer and this is in the shade deep i feel like this is the micro smooth powder by the way but i feel like i didn't get the shade deep i feel like i got the shade mahogany but i think i don't remember but i'll check my order the second bronzer that i got is the mark jacobs bronzer this is the coconut perfect tan bronzer or I guess it would be called the Omega Bronze Bronzer. I don't know. This bronzer is absolutely huge. This is the most perfect compact and it shows literally my entire face. But this is also the color of the bronzer. It could be my light that's kind of like making it look like it's not going to be a match. Or that it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. But if you put it next to the Sephora one, you can see that the Sephora one looks a little bit more warm. This one looks a little bit more cool tone. So let me see what that one looks next to the other one. Okay, I must say, the Charlotte Tilbury, where is it? So one of my new faves that I have to do with my makeup, like no matter what now, is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Before, I used to never set my entire face with anything, and I feel like now I've been, ever since I discovered this, I've been setting my face with this translucent powder, and I'm literally obsessed with this. So when I realized that they also have a bronzer, I was like, no brainer let me pick up the bronzer too and i just want to say these are huge like i cannot get over how big this packaging is so i let me show you guys what color i got um come on you're so aggy did you hear him make a moan noise i got the shade three tan and no shade to charlotte tilbury because i really do like this stuff but um, I'm gonna need like a four, five, six, and seven, and eight because I think this is the, the deepest the bronzer goes. And I don't know, do we think this is gonna match me? These two bronzers literally look like they're the same exact size and everything, but this one does actually carry a little bit more product. And I feel like out of the two, 
the Charlotte Tilbury probably is going to look more flattering on me. But we'll try out both. I really like the mirror more from the Marc Jacobs one. But how big are these compacts? Like, I love big packaging like this and I don't know why. I finally picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And I actually wanted to do a swatch test really quick because I wanted to see if it is very, very similar to my KKW Nude 2 because Nude 2 is literally like all I wear. Like I could tell already off rip that I love my KKW Nude 2, but I'm definitely gonna try the Iconic Nude because I've heard such good things. I just hope it doesn't pull pinky on me because I feel like a lot of bronze, I mean bronzers, I feel like a lot of brown shaded lipsticks, lip liners, all of them, they all tend to pull more pinky toned on me. I'm into more of a, like a brown, more of a muted nude, not really into the super pink stuff. But wait, while we're on the topic of the lip stuff, I had to pick up more of my Laneige lip mask. It's literally my favorite and the fact that they have it in a squeezy tube, it makes it so much easier for me to carry in my purse. We have the gummy bear flavor and then we have berry. Berry is the one that literally is the same flavor as the one that I mentioned in legitimately all of my videos and that's the one that comes in the little like tub. Berry is literally it smells like sour patch watermelon and I keep trying to tell people like it's $22 but it's well worth the $22 and right now during holiday time too. You can already see that they have like the holiday packaging and stuff like that. So this is a time to buy in bundles and you know, like keep one for you, gift the other one, like whatever. Next two items that I want to mention are both items from Makeup Forever. And I just feel like a makeup haul is not a makeup haul without skincare or like skin items in it or skin makeup. So I have the, I haven't tried a Makeup Forever foundation in probably like a year and a half maybe. So I have the Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour full coverage foundation and this is in the shade Y255. I got the matte velvet skin concealer as well to go with it and I got this in the shade 2.6. So I'm excited to try this. You guys already know I'm a skin finish kind of girl. If my skin looks good, I feel like the makeup looks popping like all the time. So I just finished watching the foundation and I do think the foundation is gonna be a little light for me. Um, I feel like when I put it next to my face, it's like, girl, not a little bit light, a lot of bit late. <laughs> but the concealer looks like it's definitely going to be like a perfect match. So we are moving right along because I'm not trying anything in this haul. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm super excited about because this one I was trying to get in my last Sephora haul that I did. The last haul that I did, it wasn't even like VIB sale or anything like that. I just went to Sephora and went nuts. I was looking for this blush and... I feel like this is going to mimic one of my favorite blushes right now. My absolute favorite blush is the KKW Beauty Flower Wall Blush. This comes in the wedding collection. So it's limited edition. She doesn't carry this all the time on her website. That's literally the blush that I have on now. I love it. The one that I picked up during VIB sale is from Patrick Ta. And you guys already know. Well, first of all, can we talk about my fingerprint? Gross. Patrick Ta, new in the game, but all of his stuff, everybody is literally obsessed with it. And I am just as... Like, hello. Tell me that's not absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty this blush is. But I also feel like that literally mimics my KKW blush. I guess one is a little bit more corally than the other one. I take back what I said. They are totally different. I'm actually happy that I picked this one up because this one's definitely one of my favorites, but I don't have anything that looks like this. Like this one, this we're using in the next video and I already know this is gonna look so good. So I'm very excited to try this one. I feel like even this one, I have a tan will look good. And ooh, she's pretty. I'm excited for this. The next item that I got, this is actually the last makeup item that I got. So I legit have two things and then this haul is already over. See, kept it nice and short. This is another thing that it was just like highly anticipated. I already knew it was gonna be bomb.com and hello. It is so neutral, so muted. So before I even show you this palette, this palette is every girl who doesn't really do a lot of eyeshadow makeup. This is literally like your dream. This is like a fall, not even just fall. This is like a universal, literally what it's called. It's a universal palette. Moment, please. Makeup by Mario. Like nobody is topping this palette for browns, nudes. You got a black in here. And every transition shade that you're looking for, it's all here. Like what other palette would you possibly need for all your browns and nudes and like... This we're using in the next video, like no matter what, so perfect. Last but not least, I picked up a fragrance because, I don't know, I've been super into different perfumes, 
different scents, seeing what works for me, seeing what doesn't work for me and what I like. So I picked it up in the rollerball because I wanted to get the small version first just to make sure I liked it. I got the Valentino. This is the Born in Roma. This is literally, I've heard so much good things about this. Like when you're picking perfumes, like you need to know what undertones and like where the fragrance basically like what it'll smell like when you first spray it what it'll smell like while you're wearing it and what it'll smell like after like after it goes away a little bit okay so on the sephora website for this fragrance it says fragrance family floral scent type warm floral that already for me is like up my alley and then jasmine grandy florum and bourbon vanilla you know what this smells like to me what do i always say you guys she smelled expensive, you know what I mean? Real, real expensive. Oh, and actually, hold on one second because I actually wanna shout out my other literal favorite, favorite fragrance. Hang on. I didn't get this in the VIB sale, but I picked this up a few weeks ago and this is one of those scents, like it just takes me back to a time and I started wearing this in 2018, but this is legit one of the best smelling, like muskier scents because I don't really like to smell like musky, but I also don't like to smell too, too sweet. And I feel like these two are definitely completely different like smells. However, I also wanted to give a mention to my Juliet Has a Gun. I don't have the box anymore, but this is my Juliet Has a Gun. Mmm, this just smells so good. The person who put me onto this, I actually, it was one of my coworkers back in 2018, going into 2019, and she would wear this all the time, and I'd be like, what are you wearing? And she let me spray it, and oh my goodness. Till this day, like I could wear this summertime, wintertime, fall time, any time of the year, I can literally wear this, and it lingers, and people always ask me, what are you wearing? I need to have it. And it is this right here. This is Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. So I know there's like Moscow Mule. There's like a vanilla like scented one of this. This one is literally my favorite. Sorry if you guys can hear my boyfriend. He's on the phone downstairs. But this, this right here, I didn't even buy it in the sale. But baby girl, banging. This Valentino one though, this smells like sweetness and money. Yeah, I'm wearing this today. That is all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you guys picked up any of the items that I mentioned or if you've tried any of them. One other thing I wanted to mention is in my last video, which I'll leave it linked down below, I am doing a giveaway. I'm gonna probably close it out either Wednesday or Thursday to give people a little bit more time to enter. So don't forget, head over to that video. Make sure you enter the giveaway. And I think that's all I have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Aaliyah, and I will catch you guys in my next video. And I will see you guys soon.